Good afternoon. Welcome to the countdown to the 500 years special, specially dated to be planned for the 27th of April, 2020. This National Quincentennial Committee designated the 27th of April, 2020 as the reckoning date of the one year countdown to the main event of the 2021 Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines, 500th anniversary of the victory at Mactan. As the country combats the COVID-19 pandemic, various stakeholders of the 2021 QCP will come together to keep the public abreast about the milestones in 2021 through the countdown to 500 special. The public may join us in the discussion primarily on the official Facebook page of the National Quincentennial Committee. It will be facilitated by the Presidential Communications Office, PCOO, and the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, NHCP. This afternoon is going to be rather exciting. It's called, uh, we call this particular section from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Tawag po natin dito, Enriching the 500 Years Discourses. Meron po tayong mga resource persons and uh, we have, uh, you know, we have, right, it's a very exciting group of people for one, we have Dr. Jose Victor Z. Torres of De La Salle. Can we feature his face? <laughs> Dr. Uh, Dr. Torres is with De La Salle. Then we also have Ambassador Celia Ana Feria, our ambassador to Lisbon in Portugal. Okay. Then we also have Vice Consul Raisa Mabayo, our first secretary, uh, first secretary of the Philippine Embassy in Madrid. Next. Then we have Senora Pilar Cuadra, Head of the Cultural and Administrative Affairs Embassy of Spain in Manila. All right. And then we also have Professor Xiao Chua of the La Salle University. And uh, an icon and uh, known, for, known to many is Feliz Prudente Santa Maria Food Historian. This promises to be a special collaboration uh, this uh, collaboration is pretty exciting and we hope to also hear from you this afternoon. So this afternoon, what we'd like to do is we'd like to begin the discussions by asking, we have a specific uh, question to ask our resource persons this afternoon. We have for one, we'd like to begin, ano nga ba sineselebrate natin na ngayon 2021? Ano ba ito yung pinagkakagulo na pinagkakabalahan natin? No? At uh, COVID, but uh, the show must go on, as they say. So, Professor Chua, would you like to discuss the milestones underscoring that we're not uh, commemorating the colonization but uh, or the Christianization, but uh, how, you know, we, that, could you bring out the salient points of this particular uh, take on the Quincentina? You know, you said, I, I, it's an honor to be with all of you, uh, Excellencies. Makasaysayang hapon po, bayan. Uh, that's why I like wearing the jacket that was given to me by the National Quincentennial Committee because it is actually a visual aid on the what we call the Quincentennial celebrations. So it's the 500 years of, uh, we're celebrating in the world, of course, the victory or the achievement of humankind, which is the first circumnavigation of the world. Now, uh, of course, this is being celebrated in Portugal. Uh, that's why we have the ambassador of the Philippines uh, to Portugal, and then this is also celebrated in Spain because uh, that's why we have here our our ambassador. But uh, uh, in the Filipinos, they say, well, "Why are you celebrating the uh, coming of Magellan? And isn't that the start of our colonization?" Actually, it is not. Well, it was not. Uh, but uh, what we're commemorating here, so, so we want to join the world celebration, but we also want to put Filipino perspective. That's why the highlight of our celebration is the victory in Mactan. So if you look at the logo, you have uh, the, in the middle, the circle there, you have uh, Lapu-Lapu. So that's, that represents the victory in Mactan. But of course, we're also, uh, so that's the, this is the circumnavigation of the world, and then you have the the victory at Mactan, which is the highlight of the Philippine celebration, uh, but we are also um, celebrating what we call the uh, uh, the uh, coming of Christianity in the Philippines, because most of the Filipinos are Christians. Okay, let's let's admit that. 
and uh, that's why we have uh, the cross there and you have the circle in the other uh, zero for the globe which is the circumnavigation of the world so but uh, the theme that uh, the national quincentennial committee chose uh, mm. was victory and or is victory and humanity and why is that in the philippines we always focus on the battle of Mactan that we killed magellan but you know magellan was killed only because uh, he started to you know to mingle with our affairs but before that we actually and we do not a lot of times we do not teach this there was a friendly exchange and a confluence and uh, interaction between the spaniards who needed help because they were already hungry and the filipinos who showed them hospitality humanity even if they don't understand each other at first uh, and uh, of course you see there that uh, they, we, they, they were able to uh, expose our culture because Pigafetta, the Magellan's chronicler, was able to write about our culture. So that's why we also focus on the humanity aspect. So that's why we chose victory and humanity. And that, the humanity was shown by our early Filipinos. Those early Filipinos had their, uh, uh, their culture, their civilization, which we also want to highlight in the National Quincentennial Museum. Thank you, Professor. And uh, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. So, napaka-engaging ng discussions natin in the previous section. And I know a lot of people have several questions after hearing um, the thoughts of our resource speakers. So, one of the most uh, prevalent uh, questions, yung lagi nilang tinatanong sa atin is, um, yun, isn't it confusing to be celebrating, commemorating uh, two contradicting events? Or, Meron ba talagang contradiction? So, I, I guess I'd like to invite uh, Professor Xiao Chua of De La Salle University to share his thoughts first. Hello, Stacy, Excellencies. Hello. Uh, Bayan, muli, maraming salamat. Uh, well, of course, uh, you can say that it's uh, confusing because you see you have victory over Magellan and then you have oh, humanity to the Spaniards. Uh, why is that? Now, wh what I'm saying is that's why, you know, history, it's never black and white. Never. And we should always teach to the students that history is a very complicated matter. Complicated and nuanced, just as much as how nuanced our uh, lives are. I mean, no one, nobody is black and white here. I mean, we, we all have, you know, our faults and we all have our virtues. Now, Looking to the events of 1521, that is also what we want to apply. What happened was, uh, I mean, just to go back to what happened, you know, we're celebrating the humanity because, again, this is what's important, Stacy. that uh, when, uh, when Magellan came here, they were actually embarking on a very important mission is to find if there's a route uh, going to Asia uh, from uh, from the Atlantic and the Pacific, so th that was actually it's it's not just really an, it was not an accident. They really wanted to know if the Earth is really round. That was that was the, again Felice said about discovery, about being curious, mm. uh, made us more uh, know more about ourselves. Now, what happened was of course because of this uh, daring, bold initiative of Magellan. Uh, what happened was. They did not have food anymore because they, they already were there one and a half years in the ocean. And uh, of course, in, in the Pacific Ocean, they were 90, 90 days already without water, without, without clean water, without much food. And in, in Guam, they, they, the Chamorros, they even robbed them even before they went to ashore. You know? But, so the, but the Filipinos, when the Magellan expedition came, and they saw these people, they did not understand at first the, uh, the language, but they gave them food. You know, the, 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 the Filipinos went to the boat of the Spaniards. They, they did not understand each other, but knew they were, they were tired. And so what happened was, because we saw the Filipinos, who have, we had our own civilization, our own culture, our own, our own you know, uh, shall we say, uh, lives here, and we saw these foreigners we did not know them. We did not kill them immediately. You know, we welcomed them. We showed them hospitality, humanity. Mm. 
And uh, after that, they went to Mazawa for seven days. They had the time of their lives, the best part of the expedition. You know, I read the, the, the expedition uh, the, um, memoirs of uh, uh, Pigafetta, and you will see that they had the time of their lives in Mazawa. You know, we were, they showed, the Filipinos showed our culture, our, they showed the gold mm. that, that looked like walnuts. They, we showed the balangays. We showed the, our houses. Uh, we welcomed them. And then, of course, we listened to their faith. And then they went to Cebu. And, uh, of course, w- when they went to Cebu and they started mingling with the politics there, Magellan became a victim of an internal struggle between la- the native chieftains there. So, actually, Magellan was just a victim of the larger narrative, which is actually the infighting between the Cebuano chieftains. So, now, what's the importance of that na- of those two narratives? Simple. Number one, mm-hmm. again, we don't look at the 1521 events as something that's just victorious and something that is just humane. We look at it as at the context of it. So, you know, when you have good, when we have good, you know, uh, interactions with each other, you know, we will be fine. You know, but when you know when we the misunderstanding and you know the you know what they say. I'm sorry for the word. You know, the assumption is the mother of all truth. You know, uh, that's that's what happened with Magellan. Magellan started assuming things, uh, and uh, you know he, he had misunderstanding. Now that's why the key so that for that for that not to happen is understanding that we should understand each other and 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 be sensitive with our culture. But you know, just to to wrap up this point. Basically, what, what we have here is that the Philippine part of the expedition was important because if Magellan's men, if they did not reach Homonhon, Giwan, Eastern Samar, on March 16, mm-hmm. 1521, you know, if they did not reach that uh, place, they would have died. And we will not be talking about the first circumnavigation of the world here, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. So that's why... Even if they killed Magellan, the, the Mactan people killed Magellan and the Cebuano finished off the rest of the leaders. You know, those who survived the expedition were able to reach their goal, which are the spices. And when they reached the goal, ladies and gentlemen, they went back to Spain and they were able to become victorious in a way. And uh, Elcano was able to you know, be rewarded as the first to circumnavigate the world. So this is what I'm saying here. Uh, if we are going to be more, I mean, we not just focus on the Battle of Mactan. The Battle of Mactan is important. I'm not saying that that's mm-hmm. not important because that is where we show uh, other people that if you mess up with us, you're going to, you know, be in trouble. But if we have understanding, we can share culture confluence. This is our humanity to the world. We share this to the world. Mm-hmm. We share this with the white Russians in 1953 when they were endangered with the communists. We shared our home. We shared Giwan, Giwan, Eastern Samar, where Magellan was able to, you know, dock there and, and, and were able to eat. The, East, the, the white Russians were able to stay there and uh, we saved their lives, we Filipinos. We showed it with the, the Jews during the time of Quezon. We showed it with the Vietnamese people. We show, we were showing it now with the OFWs, the caregivers, and now we're showing it to each other and we're showing it to the world through this COVID-19 pandemic when we have Bayanihan, not just within our country, mm-hmm. we have Bayanihan with the world. You know, we have in, in, there in London, Stacey, you know, we have nurses there that's being thanked by Pierce Morgan. You see, this is, our, this is, this is the message that we Filipinos, in our perspective, no, of the celebrations of the National Queen Centennial, we're one with Portugal, we're one with Spain, we're one with the world. That uh, if we will uh, have bridges among each other of understanding, we will have the time of our lives like the Spaniards in Mazawa. Hmm? Napakagandang point, Professor Shao. And I really like that when you emphasize on uh, how we need to put this commemoration in context basically distilling yung mga lessons from history and really focusing no, on the heritage of uh, oneness and sharing of uh, connections. 